Should you be dealing so closely with people who torture people? I mean, the feds torture people. Why are you dealing with them instead of the school board? This Ridley Report is brought to you by Libertania.com! Dr. Livingston, is that you? Question, uh, what is this about you making a separate piece with the feds on this uh, issue of civil rights? I have no uh, comment, thanks. Should you be dealing so closely with people who torture people? I mean, the feds torture people. Why are you dealing with them instead of the school board? Why is it that you uh, interacted this way without the school board? Is it, if I understand it, you didn't even consult the school board. Is this a democracy, or are you part of a, an oligarchy of some kind? If you, you're having 50 he cases of head lice per year, as I understand it, or uh, per month, well, why are you forcing kids to be in those buildings? If kids don't, or if uh, adults don't have the right to defend children in the schools because of your ban on guns, why is it right to force kids to be in those buildings. All right. How are you doing? Hey, how are you? Ms. Langdon. Hi. Hi. Question for you. Uh, if you guys are having, as I understand it, 50 cases of head lice per month, should students be forced to be in those buildings? Be forced to go to school? I didn't uh, vote for the policy. I thought the one well, yeah, I know that, but I mean, should, should you guys be forcing kids to be at public school. I don't force anyone to do anything. What happens if they don't show up? Hello. You're on the school board, aren't you? Yes, I am. Uh, I've got a question for you. Um, Actually, I'm heading in for a meeting. The, um, I'll catch you later. As I, as I understand Thank it, uh, there's been 50 cases of head lice per month in the schools, and I'm wondering if kids should be forced to go to school where they might get head lice. From your school? It's kind of take good. Great, how are you? Good. Is it, Bro is it Brogy? Is that you? Yes, that's me. Question for you. I'm running right to my meeting. I'm yeah, sorry. You are kind of late. I'll, give you, I'll, I'll admit that. <laughs> I'm going to ask anyway. You can answer as you're walking. I understand that Superintendent Livingston has been delaying right to no requests while she, or at least the, the office has been delaying requests while she's out. Shouldn't right to no requests be processed the same whether the superintendent's here or not? It's important that the superintendent have an opportunity to review the requests as long as the overall timelines are stuck. Is that in compliance with the RSAs? Does the school district always comply with RSAs on RTKs? Uh. That was kind of jingoist, or uh, what's the right word for it? Jargonish. Are you on the school board? Yeah. Got a question for you. Um, my understanding is that Superintendent Livingston has been sort of delaying uh, right to no request when she's out of town, like if she's gone, then they have to, they have to wait until she comes back to deliver their right to no request. Is that appropriate? I don't know that that's the case. I, I can't say that I saw it happen, but I, you know, I heard about it on the radio. Um, really? Should right to know requests be processed any differently when the prince or when the superintendent is out? Um, I don't know. It depends on what you're requesting. Okay. Well, I appreciate you not rushing off on me. I know the meeting's already started. So. Yeah. Are you on the school board, ma'am? I am. Question for you. Um, to what extent are gun rights... To what extent are... Uh, oh. <laughs> Uh, to what extent are gun rights respected in the schools? Uh, I mean, on the part of adults, I'm not talking about kids. <sighs> you don't have to know everything. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't know whether they're respected or not? No problem. Hello. Hello. Hello.
A Country Called Prohibition. It's the new book in the Libertania series. Follow, or rather watch your children follow, the adventures of Mary Jane as she travels from her free country to a more familiar land known as Prohibition. How would marijuana be treated in a free society? How would its residents voluntarily protect themselves from attack by authoritarian countries? I bet you don't have the perfect answer yet, but your kids might after they read this. A book so non-aggressive, it's probably banned at your local tax school. Libertania.com